Lenovo ThinkPad T480. I'll show you how to disassemble it to upgrade the SSD and the RAMs. Flip over your Lenovo ThinkPad. And the first step is to remove the battery. The number one, push it to the side and pull this number two switch and slide it out like that. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, and six screws to be loosened. They are just uh, regular Philip hat screws, so it'll be easy to find a screwdriver for these screws. You cannot really remove them from the plastic frame, but just loosen them and you'll be able to take up this bottom cover. Now use a plastic prying tool to pry up the bottom cover. Okay, now we are the inside of ThinkPad T480. We have an internal battery. That's where the external battery goes. A heatsink and a fan. Memory slot number one. And here's number two, which is empty. I think this is a MSATA slot right here. Maybe you can add one more extra storage. That's your Wi-Fi card. And this is where the hard drive is. Well, in my case, I think I have the 2.5 inch SSD, CMOS battery. Before we replace the hard drive, we have to remove the battery connector from the logic board, which is right there. Okay, battery removed. For the hard drive, lift up this end like this. And there is my SSD. In some other configuration, you might have M.2 NVMe style SSD. In my case, I just have a regular SATA uh, communication port. So it might look different on different model. NVMe is much more faster. But I have to use my um, 2.5 inch SSD for this one. Like that. It's removed. And you can just remove the plastic frame from the SSD. like that and you can attach a new SSD right there and reinstall. I was expecting this one to have NVMe SSD that's why I prepared this one but I guess I have to go out and get this 2.5 inch SSD which is a lot slower than this NVMe. Like that and I can add 2 8GB DDR4 to make it 16. Okay, 16 gigabyte installed. Oh, and the battery. I think this battery is held by one and two screws only. So you can unscrew these two and then you'll be able to take it off. Of course, you have to disconnect the battery cable from the logic board before you replace the battery. That's how to do the battery. If you have any question, leave comments. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.